Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today I'm bringing you another video and today is a, a little bit of a special one and this is kind of the official video showing what has happened here recently. Uh, if you recall, I made a video talking about some big changes coming and those are still happening actually as we speak but the first step of those big changes was what I'm about to show you and there's going to be a little bit more to come on it. I'm just going to talk about it briefly, but basically here we go. This is what it is. Are you ready? And ta-da! So this is a 2020 Mustang GT and it is in my other garage because I am currently working on some things in my garage. Um, so it's tucked away in here real nicely but you could see it here. So this is a GT Premium 401A package car. It is a non-performance pack car. It is an automatic with the 10R80 transmission in it. It has a 315 gear, which is the perfect gearing for, for what I wanted. Um, it is the Velocity blue color with the black accent package, which is almost exactly the car that I wanted. Um, it does have the advanced security package and things like that. I really didn't care about that, but uh, considering I wanted a such a specific combo, um, this was basically the, the closest I could find on the entire East Coast. As you can see, I have already done a GT500 spoiler on it, uh, which looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah, so this is the car, big changes coming with involving this car. We are going to take this and turn it into more of a, uh, a drag racing vehicle. Um, the plan is probably, I'm definitely boost obviously, but I think I may go away from the supercharger and go with a turbo setup. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be single or, or twins. I was originally kind of leaning towards single. Now I'm thinking maybe maybe twins, just because for the singles, uh, you have to run such a big turbo to flow enough air for the Gen 3 Coyote that with the twins, you don't have to run, since there's two of them, you don't have to run as big a turbos. Um, so fitment's not as big of an issue. However, there are two of them. And you got know, all the pine, you know, plumbing that comes with it. So it, it, we're, that's still up in the air. We're still deciding. Um, but for now, the suspensions and a lot of the stuff from the other car is going to go on this one. I'll have videos on that once it happens. As of right now, it is still stock height on the stock wheels. I will be putting on the MR600s, MRR600s from the other car temporarily. However, I don't think those will stay for very long. I'm probably going to go with a set of the VMS Racing uh, 5 spokes. I think they look really nice and they aren't quite as expensive as a set of welds. For what I want out of the car, I think the VMS wheels will be just fine. So yeah, guys, so uh, you know, look forward to more stuff on the channel, more action involving this car. Um, in the next week or two, the track opens here in Virginia. So I'm gonna try to get the car out to the track in stock form. Just kinda wanna get a baseline, see what it's gonna do way it sits and then we'll start doing suspension and axles and things like that and probably gonna wait on it just for a little while before we start doing boost I just want to give a chance to, to vet the engine a little bit make sure there's not any you know manufacturing defects from the factory it's got about 1600 miles on it right now um, so once we can get that up to you know maybe three or four thousand five thousand miles something like that and nothing major has happened with the engine or anything, then I feel like that's probably a pretty solid um, test just to make sure that there's nothing from the factory that's wrong with it. And then once that happens, uh, we'll start getting into the boost and making this car uh, go really fast. Um, the name of the car is actually going to be Mystique. Uh, I love the character from X-Men. And with the blue and the black, I thought that would be uh, a good name for her. However, the name for the entire project uh, I believe I'm going to go with Project Blue Balls, believe it or not. So I thought maybe some of you out there would find that comical. Um, so Project Blue Balls involving Mystique. So hopefully you guys will uh, stick with me, follow along, 
subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and there will be more to come. Stay tuned.